Uh, these 50 by 50s are what we prick out into. Pricking out means these small plants go individually into each one of these pots, so we end up with a tray like this. So you'll be given a set of appropriately sized plants, each of which has got a label on it, and we'll do the labelling last. But first of all, you've got to fill up these pots. And we just literally fill it up, pour it in, roughly, and then spread it out, filling up all the cells. So we've got those all full. And then we don't want to absolutely uh, make these so tight we can't get the dibbler in. We're pricking plants out into these. So we just lift it up once and bang it down. And you can see that all of those pots have dropped a bit. So we just top them up. We want to give them the same amount of breakfast. So now we'll do the pricking out. Pricking out, we use a dibbler, what I call a dibbler. It's just a pair of modified food tongs. The idea is that it makes a, 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 a steel container around the roots. And then we use that to push in to make a hole. And this stops the roots turning into a J root. The J root then grows straight up toward the surface and the plant doesn't explore the full depth of the pot and it makes for a very weak plant. The critical thing here is that they are planted at the same height as they are in the pot. So here's some that we've taken out and they're just bare roots. We just want individual plants. So here's a plant that's an individual. Put it in my hand. Not a very good one. So we'll throw that one away and start have another one. Need to be do a bit of quality control. We're putting it with the root going out away from my palm and then we simply make a containment around that with the dibbler and then we put it into the centre of the pot. We drive it in and then I've moved my hand from here which is squeezing to here which is opening, still under control, pull it out, leaving the plant behind. Sometimes I have to hold the leaf of the plant and then I just pull up the plant until it's the right height, dibble around it, that's one done. Take another plant out of my container of plants, put it in my hand, make a containment around it. Now if the roots are a bit long, simply cut the roots off the end so that they don't bend up and become a J root and then plunge it into the middle, hold it in there, straighten it up, double around it, another one done, in the middle of the pot. The biggest mistake you can make is put them in too deep. The, the leaves will just rot off at ground level. So they have to be the same height as they were in the original pot. That's the critical thing, the same height. I then take the tray like this. Instead of watering it over the top, because these are delicate, they're really small, I don't want to wash them in. I take them from here and I put, actually put them into water and I water from the bottom up. We just float it in there. The water will actually come up from the bottom, up through the tray, into those pots. This is the most critical part because if you don't get water into the pots, the irrigation system will not cope. It won't water the whole pot. So we're just waiting until we see some water coming up in those pots we just did. You can see these other ones are filling up now. So as soon as one of them gets wet, I pull it out, let it drain. And so that whole pot is full from the bottom to the top of water. It means that the roots are right down in the water and it means that the irrigation systems will actually keep them full of water for the, the duration of their growing season. We've got a whole surface exposed to weed seeds here and to, to try and stop a bit of weeding we put a bit of weed mat on. So I'm just giving that one settle down and then I have got some small bits of paper which have been specially cut and the idea with these is that we're trying to cover up the surface of the, soil, of the potting mat with paper the idea here is that the weed seeds take light to germinate and so by stopping the light getting to the top of the, the potting mix we're stopping those weed seeds germinating. Also any weed seeds that go onto the top of the paper don't get enough, they don't get any moisture because they're not actually in the potting mix and again they'll germinate but then die. Um, it does, it's not perfect but it certainly helps. And then once we've got the whole thing weed matted it'll look like One of these, 
weed mat and then we just sprinkle a bit of shingle it's very fine shingle again this is given to you we just put a little bit of shingle oh, the, the whole purpose of that is just to stop the weed mats themselves blowing away and don't need much shingle that's probably a little bit much that is now ready to go into the shade house and this will grow on there'll be some deaths of course there will but 80-90% of them should survive